We're still more than a whole year away from GTA 6's release. Oh, come on! And all we've got to go off so far is one official trailer and some leaked gameplay from 2022, but that's old. While we've still got a lot that we don't know about GTA 6, I wanted to share what my ideal GTA 6 looks like. Now, obviously, this is just stuff I want to see in the game, so there's a big chance that many of the things I want will not be in the game. But hey, I can dream, all right? I want to go to Mars with Elon Musk in GTA 6. Okay, it's, it's not that crazy, but you know. Number one is a populated marine life and vegetation. Heaps more sea life, not just sharks and dolphins. San Andreas even had more sea life than GTA 5, I swear. Don't get me wrong, it ain't impressive, but it was still there nonetheless. I love the idea of being able to explore secrets and points of interest underwater. GTA 5 didn't do too badly at this, but it definitely didn't have many things going on in my opinion. Like there's not really any reason to spend much time underwater in story mode, except from a few missions and a couple Easter eggs. I mean, wouldn't it be cool if even just in free roam, there were heaps of things to explore underwater, like hidden caves, collectibles, abandoned ships with treasure, or things that might aid or benefit your story progression. Not just this, but even being able to see it interact with NPCs scuba diving, maybe looking for treasure or something. Just imagine seeing old mate Baz looking for gold and then he just gets absolutely shredded by a shark. That'd be cool. Number two, more vehicle customization and personal vehicle options. Is it really too much to ask to be able to put a dump truck in my garage? I'm kidding, not really. But a monster truck, surely. I should not have to call up Pegasus to get this called in. I want a clown van, I want a tractor, I want a lawnmower. Chuck them all in there. If we could put more of those unique vehicles in our garage, I think that'd be cool. And while we're at it, let me put some dollar sign rims on my lawnmower with a neon underglow and a nitro boost. Screw it, chuck the hydraulics on too. I reckon vehicles that aren't made to have these options should have these options available. Yeah, it's dumb and it's stupid, but it's a video game. Let me do some stupid stuff that I can laugh at that you'd never see in real life. Number three, better cheats. Don't get me wrong, there are some cool cheats in GTA 5, like the moon gravity, skyfall, etc. But they weren't as good as the older GTA titles, in my opinion. A while ago, I made a video on how I think GTA San Andreas had the best cheats. Card at the top right if you want to view it, by the way. It's definitely worth a watch if you never used the cheats in that game, or you just want to relive a bit of nostalgia. But there are some absolute classics from those games, like the flying cars cheat, all cars have NOS, cars drive on water, cars float away when hit, pedestrians riot, and so many more. I'd love to see some of these cheats come back in GTA 6. Like imagine you're in a Florida man road rage situation and he starts chasing after you in his pickup truck and he just starts flying off to space as he speeds up. Quick smoke oh lads, if you're enjoying the video so far, liking the video and subscribing goes a long way to helping support the channel. Number four, more destructible objects. So you're telling me that in GTA 5, this here tennis net is more durable than this wall. Yeah, right on, mate. I guess just from a realism point of view, it would be cool if there were more destructible things in the GTA 6 map. Bring on the ram raids. Nah, but like, you know, for sale signs, house fences and gates, or maybe I could assert my dominance and bunt over the neighbor's tree with my digger. That's some Florida man shit. I think this would just help the game come to life a bit more. Number five, speaking of the game coming to life a bit more, NPCs are so lifeless in GTA 5. Now, obviously, they're NPCs, so I don't expect them to be on par with main characters in the game in the slightest. But they're all the same. Every NPC reacts to the player's actions in the same way in GTA 5. The only reactions you get from NPCs is them wanting to fight you, or them panicking and running away, or maybe them complimenting your absolute monstrosity of a vehicle and taking a photo of it. What if you could just play a game of golf with a random NPC? Or what if you started following an NPC home and they'd start to get paranoid and react to it? I don't know, it's just random stuff to do when you're bored in the game. I think that'd be cool. Number 6. Classic GTA parodies and edgy humour. While I'm sure GTA 6 won't be afraid to poke fun and parody real life stereotypes and subjects, I doubt they'll go as far as what they did with older GTA titles like GTA 3, GTA San Andreas. And I get it, Rockstar and Take 2 don't want to get in any hot water, especially considering they have to make their investors happy. But the edgy humour I feel like is a large reason why GTA titles are so popular. We play these games to escape reality and all the crazy stuff happening in the world. Being able to joke and have a laugh about some of this stuff is one of the reasons reasons the past GTA titles have been so engaging in my opinion. Like just the radio in San Andreas and Liberty City stories had the most memorable and hilarious stuff being said. Nothing beats Radio Del Mundo and Liberty City stories. Like a beautiful goddess with three breasts. Not all music has to be made with guitar, a drug habit and an 
unhealthy interest in molesting young girls in the back of a tour bus. No! Like a fertility dance! God, I feel so fertile now. I want to bang a statue! Again, I'm sure Rockstar isn't too afraid to poke a bit of fun here and there in GTA 6. Even in the first trailer for GTA 6, we did see that angst pan billboard. There are, of course, more things I'd like to see in GTA 6, but these are the main ones for me. Now, I want to know from you guys, in a perfect world, what would your ideal GTA 6 look like? Imagine there's no barriers. Don't get too crazy with it. Like, I know I wanted to go to Mars with Elon, but that's a little bit too far. If you've made it this far into the video, you're a legend. And also, let me know if you'd like to see a part two of this but for GTA 6 online. Yeah, let me know in the comments because I wasn't sure if this video idea would be something you boys care about, so any feedback is really appreciated. Righto, take care and see you in the next one.